Welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Blind. We're hanging out over here in the Great Forge. Inventory completely full of random stuff. Because we are trying to see how, see how far we can get. What kind of levels we can get in our skills. Conveniently, there is a first aid trainer right in here in the Ironforge Physician Store and blacksmithing trainer over here at the actual Great Forge itself. So we're just making an absolute ton of these bandages. Whether or not we end up even bringing these with us when presumably there's going to be another higher level bandage that we get to. Spoiler, I checked, it's at level 40. The question is, can we walk and will that cancel our crafting? Interrupted. I'd say that counts as canceling. Anyways, when you first come here you might not think there is a first aid trainer because it's all herbalism. But upstairs there is the first aid trainer. Welcome. And heavy linen bandage. 114 over 6 compared to this one there's only 66. And the real question is how much is this going to cost to make? Because if it's just like two linen cloth that's not bad. But a lot of recipes have had unnecessary secondary ingredients that made them not really worth having. But we get to look, we get to check. Heavy linen bandage. Just two cloth. 114 compared to 66. So it's not quite as much healing per cloth. But inventory space. chance to skill up. I'd say it's worthwhile. Worst case scenario, I can just keep a whole bunch of these regular linen bandages in my bank in case I ever end up running out of the heavy ones. It would not be as good to bring those with me, but at least it'd be something. Just like these two small potions we still have left. An additional healing option is always good to have. And that got us up to level 53. Which means Hello. we can also get journeyman first aid. Now the next is at level 80, anti-venoms, my goodness. Wool bandages, heavy wool bandages, silk bandages, so fancy. Keep your feet on the ground. So that's all of my linen used up. A thought occurs to me that that might have been a requirement for one of the smithing things I'm about to go do. Worst case scenario, I just put all the copper back in my bank until later. It's not like I'm gonna run out of linen drops from stuff. Alright. We're at this absolutely ridiculous forge. Now we have options of tin bars and bronze bars. Which bronze bars require copper bars. So, even if these are not likely to get me levels, or even possible if it's green. I'm gonna still need more copper bars. Partially to make, to smelt bronze bars, but also for supplying the front quest. Okay, so it did still give me a level. I got 67. It's interesting that smelt tin is at the same level as smelt copper. Even though Q 
can't mine tin at the beginning. Sixty-eight. These colors pretty obviously mean something towards the percent of actually successfully getting a level. All I know is that less green is more likely. And I also, another thing I know is I have an absolute ton of copper ore. On the plus side, we don't end up using this. It stacks to 20 instead of 10 for the ore, so. That's more bank space, I suppose. Not that that really matters much. And the hilarious thing is that this is still not even enough copper. To finish this quest. It's just an absolutely amazing amount of copper required. Honestly, by the time that I get enough copper, the reward's probably not even going to be worth having. Well, it's not like I can sell any of this stuff for profit anyway. Not very valuable. The real question is where do you find tin? Because I found some other ore earlier. It wasn't really what we were looking for. Okay, here's more of these copper weapons I don't really want to make. Because I don't need any more copper weapons. I already have so many. It was a mistake to buy a lot of them. But at this point, they're so cheap, I might end up just buying everything. Ruined copper. Oh, that's fancy. 45 blacksmithing, you say? Is it 37? Well, let's do some blacksmithing then. Let's see. What we really need is copper axes. And copper chain belts. Ah, there's the linen cloth requirement. So, we went a bit overboard with the bandages, but hopefully the belt doesn't require linen cloth. Yes. So we'll make the six copper chain belts that I need. Unfortunately, this is going to go straight from having a ton of extra. I'm going to make a seventh one, because that's so good. It's actually an upgrade for me. But this goes straight from having a whole bunch of more bank space because of copper bars, straight back to having less bank space because I'm turning it into belts. But oh well. Maybe another copper chain belt, please. Copper chain belt. Better than loose chain belt. Right, let's see if we can do anything with these. Stone. Looks like we make rough grinding stones. A few more blacksmithing levels here. I believe we did find that these were used for something. But it's not like I even used the sharpening stones, anyways, so. It's good for levels, though. Quite a few levels.
We're learning a lot today. Okay. I'm interested in these ruined copper pants. Ruined copper gauntlets. I feel like ruined copper is probably going to have something more complicated to it. And here's Journeyman Blacksmith. Which allows me to get my blacksmith thing up higher later. So, well, let's take that now. This guy's got some higher level stuff. That's level 65. 65. 3 for 30 minutes. Yep, that's better than my rough sharpening stem. That's not until 65, though. Be good. Well, let's see what it takes to make these fancy new ruined copper stuff. Ah. That takes the rough grinding stones we're making. And fine thread. Well, that doesn't take any. 73. That's significantly better. All I need is three more copper bars. I don't know where to get fine thread though. I just have to buy it. That's a lot better. Maybe on our next event, we're gonna be going around a little bit today, so maybe we can find some more copper. What we need. Just for this, we're gonna need another three, another eight, so 11 more copper. Got plenty of the rough grinding stones, that's not gonna be a problem. I have to figure out where to get fine thread. Maybe they sell it the blacksmithing supplies. What can I get for no, you today? No, they don't. Watch your back. Okay. I call that successful. I'm gonna head back to the bank, put away all our belts. I just sell this to a store, because honestly, people don't want. Especially since this isn't even a created item. It's just a random drop I found. It's probably not worth anything. Here they are. Belt, 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 belt. That's not the right button to press. Got a whole bunch of these stones, copper bars, old bandages. I'm going to be taking these raw long jaw mud snappers with me. Because the next thing we're going to be doing is heading to the old fishing grounds to get some fish. To finish getting my cooking level up high enough to cook the next level of stuff. How are you? Yeah, it's only worth 16 copper. That's not much. Alright. So as far as skills are concerned, I guess up to 58 blacksmithing, 69 mining, 53 first aid. So cooking is really lagging behind. Maybe if we find some more boar meat and stuff like that. Anyways, we're heading over to the, I'll wait till we're outside to see the better map. Heading over to the lake here, and then to Brunel Village, because I know there's a cooking station there. Again, there's probably somewhere to cook in Iron Forge, but I don't know where it is. It's too big of a city. It's so much easier when there is a cooking furnace in the actual inn. Like seriously. There's a cooking location on the fireplace in the inns. In the other locations that have inns, but not in Ironforge apparently. 
Guess they have stricter fire codes or something. Anyways, off to fishing. One exhilarating fishing experience later. We got a whole bunch of small fish, or long jaw mud snappers. And we got a few interesting things on our way to 75 fishing. Found another mining, minor healing potion. And also this 10 pound mud snapper held in offhand. Okay, that, that, that's definitely a f guess maybe it's not a frog. It's just a really up-close picture of a fish. Yeah, guess it's a fish. Doesn't look exactly like that, though. <coughs> Anyways, that's kind of hilarious. We have a cosmetic fish offhand. So that's fun. You know, I can cook all of our small fish. Also found some copper on our way over here. Not enough yet for all those new fancy things we wanted to make. We also didn't have the linen cloth, so it's not too big of a problem. What is more of a problem is that we don't have the raw long jaw mud snapper recipe. Because last time we were in Iron Forge and had that available, we were short on cash. So now, we're going to head back to Iron Forge. Learn that recipe. Cook 20 of our 31 mud snappers, and bring those along instead of the small fish. So I think we'll grab the other copper we have in the bank and make the new item that didn't require any of the linen. What's on your mind? Okay. Also, we still have to go see the skill tutors and see what new Level 14 abilities we have available to us. All sorts of stuff to do. That guy has a gorilla for a pet. Hunter. I remember that from all the times we tried to get a pet from the pet trainer guys. But then, they so rudely told us we had to be a hunter. Alright, the ruined copper. Gauntlets, it looks like. That's a 31 armor bonus. While the pants would be about the same, but with strength and stamina. Does this have any? No. Extra strength and stamina sounds pretty good. But I don't have the. I like those fine thread was the thing we needed. I don't know where to get that. 
Probably just have to buy it. Ruined copper gauntlets, though. Well, let's go with that for now. That'll be the next thing we come and make when we have some more copper later. And that replaces our boar handler gloves. Forlorn Cavern first. Might be a better idea to go see what skills we can get. I just want to have all this higher healing food ready to go. I can ditch these gloves somewhere too. Okay, how does someone manage to die here? Amazing. Traveling fisherman, you say? You don't seem to be doing much traveling, I'm afraid. Hi. Okay, it's not fishing. Safe travel. Oh dear. Hi, you're a tall it's one. Fish, it's the fishing supplier that sells. Well then. Recipe for long jaw mud snappers. Okay. So we'll be able to bring these along when we fly back to the other sea, because I know they have a cooking location there. Honestly, it'd be, it would. <coughs> It'd be ridiculous if there wasn't actually a cooking location in this entire city. But it's in none of the locations I'd expect it to be, so, oh well. Also, for now, we can unselect that task. Because that's not what we're going to be doing right now. Because we still need, like, another probably 32 more copper for that. I believe we still have an old skill from level 12 that we never picked up. But it seemed really situational, so I don't know if we were going to bother with it. Something like always hitting the attack if you click this button after they dodge, but it just seems kind of messy. Let's see, Warriors. Greetings! Right here. Yeah, that was overpower. Only usable after target dodges, and then it cannot be blocked, dodged, or parried. That's level 20. Demoralizing Shout. Reduces the melee attack power of all enemies within 11 yards by 35 for 36 seconds. That's not bad. <clears throat> 15 silver. And Revenge. Requires defensive stance. Instantly counterattack an enemy for 12 to 14 damage and a high amount of threat. Re revenge must follow a block, dodge, or parry. See, again, these situational re other requirement skills are not as exciting as anything that melees me now does a sh bunch less damage. So we'll get demoralizing shout. Right. And that takes ten rage. My action bars are kind of chaotic. That's okay.
Hey, random meat vendor. What's on your mind? How would you like some boar handler gloves? How about some small fish? And all these 243 healing foods are taking up inventory space. Faster go this way to get to the bank. I'm gonna put all this stuff in the middle into the bank. Bring these to cook. And head on over on the flight path. I don't know where I get the fine thread. I don't know if that's like a different skill makes that. Because I can make these rough grinding stones. Interest you on a fight? Let's go see how much those cost on the auction house. Just to get an idea of what we might be in for. Only need two though, so probably be able to afford it anyways. Fine thread. Six fine thread for twelve silver. Well you see, the problem with that is I only need two and that's all my money. So that's slightly concerning. That actually would cost... And that's only one data point, so I don't know if that's actually a reasonable price to expect. So if I bought that, I would end up possibly having to sell the other four back and getting who knows how much for it. Maybe they're sold in some store or something. Doesn't matter right now. Don't have enough copper anyway. Also need to be saving up linen cloth for the E supplies quest I had to do. Feels like I took the long way to get over here, but okay. What's on your mind? And in our infinite wisdom, we didn't spend all our money. So we're actually able to take this flight path back again. That would have been a trek. I don't know what this is. It's very possible it could be nothing. But if it was nothing, why'd they put it on the map? Same with this. I don't know. I tried. I tried to get up there. But the mountains are in the way. If there's one thing mountains do, it's be in the way. Hopefully all these higher level fish and bandages and the extra potions that we brought with us helps us with this quest. Because we did not do very good the last time we were up against these guys. But we'll see. We 
did a really good job with the very cinematic flight paths. Going past. Going past. <coughs> Dying. <laughs> Going past all the interesting landmarks along the way. Anyways. See? This is what you expect from an inn. You walk up to a fireplace, click the cooking button, and cook all these fish that you thought were frogs. But seriously though, who knows fish by their face? You don't really have a actual fish shape. Ah oh, well. We have to also remember we have another eleven of these guys back in the bank. So if we run out of these, there's plenty more where these came from. Two hundred and forty three health. My goodness. That is a solid two-thirds. That's 75%. That's only about 50%. Stamina and Spirit. Is that the same as this one? Gain four Stamina and Spirit for 15. It only looks like that's one Stamina and Spirit for 15. So these are better than these apples, but that's just a little bit of extra healing. Alright. So that got us cooking up to level 70. That's pretty good. See, so yeah, I'm sorry, what? You can't take the chairs next to the sword. See, I was going to, after taking this chair with the bread and meat, and contemplating the sword over here, I was going to take this chair next to the sword. This totally counts. If you didn't want me to not, if you wanted me to not sit in this chair, you would have made it better. I claim the chair with the sword. You can't stop me. Your attempts to stop me have only resulted in a more ridiculous outcome of me sitting on top of the chair. I hope I hope they've learned a lesson from all this. Anyways. We're going back to the zone of death. Slightly better equipped. Got a few upgrades with this fancy belt I made myself. Fancy gauntlets I made myself. So, up to 796 armor. That's pretty good. Anyways, hopefully we do significantly better at fighting these guys than we did the previous time. But we'll do that next time. Goodbye.